The F-117A Stealth Fighter is the world's first operational aircraft designed to exploit low operational stealth technology. This single-seat fighter is designed to penetrate dense threat environments and attack high-value targets with pinpoint accuracy. Primary function fighter attack goes high subsonic speeds, unlimited with air refueling range. One crew member Tomahawk cruise missile is an all-weather sub marine and surface combatant launch anti-ship or land attack cruise missile. The land attack version of the Tomahawk has an inertial and terrain contour matching TURCOM guidance. TURCOM uses a stored map reference to compare with the actual terrain. This determines the missile's position. F-14 Tomcat is a supersonic twin-engine variable sweep wing two-place fighter that was designed to replace the venerable F-4 Phantom II series of fleet air defense fighters. It can track up to 24 targets simultaneously with its advanced AWG-9 weapons control system and attack 6 with Phoenix AIM-54A missiles while continuing to scan airspace. The E3 Sentry contains a radar system that permits surveillance from the Earth's surface up to the stratosphere. Over land and water, the radar has a range of more than 200 miles for low-flying targets and further for aerospace vehicles flying at medium to high altitudes. The E3 Sentry can fly at high speeds for more than 11 hours without refueling. Its range and on-station time can be extended through the use of in-flight refueling and on or crew rest area. B-52 Strato Fortress is a long-range heavy bomber capable of flying at high subsonic speeds at altitudes up to 50,000 feet. For more than 30 years, B-52s, which can penetrate enemy defenses, have been the primary manned strategic bomber force for the United States. The Stratus Fortress can carry nuclear or conventional ordnance and in a conventional conflict can perform air interdiction, offensive counter-air, and suspension of enemy air defenses. The B-52 is highly effective when used for ocean surveillance. Two B-52s in two hours can monitor 140,000 square miles of ocean surface. The use of aerial refueling gives the B-52 Strato Fortress a range limited only by crew endurance. The Star Lifter transport provides rapid long-range airlift. It was the first jet aircraft designed to meet military airlift's needs for a troop and cargo carrier. This Star Lifter has been the workhorse of the military airlift forces since it joined the Air Force in 1965. The C-141 and the C-5 form of the Air Force's strategic air force with the C-141 carrying the troops and less bulky lighter weight vehicles and equipment. A-10 Thunderbolt II has better survivability in its close air support combat role than previous aircraft. It can survive direct hits from armor piercing and high explosive projectiles up to 23mm in size. Its self-sealing fuel cells are protected by internal and external foam. Also, fuel systems pipework is inside the cells, except the lines to the engines, which have self-sealing covers. The JU-8 Avenger 30mm 7 barrel cannon was specifically designed to provide the A-10 a tank killing capability. The gun fires armor piercing projectiles capable of penetrating medium and heavy tanks. The JU-8 A gun fires 3,900 rounds per minute. OV-10 Bronco is a multi-purpose observation and reconnaissance aircraft used by two marine observation squadrons. These squadrons provide support to air and ground units of landing forces during ship-to-shore movement and in subsequent operations ashore. The Bronco can be used for short takeoff and landing operations from unimproved land bases or from floating platforms without the use of catapults. The OV-10 can be armed with rocket bombs, gun pods, Sidewinder air to air missiles, sidearm anti radiation missile, or extended range fuel tanks. 
The EA-6B Prowler is a four-seat aircraft incorporating the most comprehensive electronic countermeasures equipment ever fitted to a tactical aircraft. The tactical jammers are being carried in four external pods. The radar intercept receivers, mission computers, and air crew displays are carried internally. The A7E Corsair II is the current fleet version of the A7. After more than two decades of service, it is due to be replaced by the FA-18 Hornet. The A7E has undergone many modifications since it was introduced in 1965. The A7E has a 20mm gun and can carry payloads of up to 15,000 pounds of bombs and missiles. The A6 Intruder is an all-weather night attack aircraft developed by conventional ground attack. The Intruder, in spite of its considerable weight, has excellent slow-flying capabilities with full spans, slats, and flaps. The crew sitting side by side enjoys an impressive view in all directions through a broad sliding canopy. It has initial climb rate of 8,400 feet per minute. Marine A6 squadrons routinely deploy abroad Navy aircraft carriers and maintain a squadron at all times in the Western Pacific. The F-18 Hornet is a lightweight fighter attack aircraft designed to replace the F-4 Phantom in the Marine Corps' fighter attack squadrons. The Hornet is a twin-engine, single-piloted supersonic aircraft which, depending on the mission, can be equipped with a full range of air-to-air -air or air-to-ground ordnance. The Hornet is a state-of-the-art aircraft that uses television-type screens and a sophisticated heads-up display HUD in place of conventional flight instruments. F-15 Eagle. The Eagle is an all-weather, extremely maneuverable tactical fighter designed to gain and maintain air superiority in aerial combat. It can outperform and outfight any current or projected enemy aircraft and penetrate enemy defenses. The F-15 has electronic systems and weaponry to detect, acquire, track, and attack enemy aircraft while operating in friendly or enemy-controlled airspace. Its weapons and flight control systems are designed so one man can safely and effectively perform air-to-air -air combat. The head of display projects on the windscreen. All essential flight information guided by the integrated avionics system. The F-4 Phantom II is a twin-engine all-weather tactical fighter bomber. The aircraft can perform three tactical air roles, air superiority, interdiction, and close air support. The F-4 Phantom II operates at speeds of more than 1,600 miles per hour and can be flown to altitudes close to 60,000 feet. Flight speeds of 150 to 165 miles per hour necessary for short landing field operations are made possible by the use of high lift flaps and boundary layer control techniques. C-5 Galaxy. The Galaxy is the world's largest aircraft. It is almost as long as a football field, high as a six-story building, and has a cargo compartment about the size of an eight-lane bowling alley. The C-5 is the only aircraft that can transport virtually any piece of the Army's combat equipment, including 74-ton mobile scissors, bridge, tanks, and helicopters. KC-135 Strato Tanker. Nearly all fuel can be pumped through the tanker's flying boom. The KC-135's primary fuel transfer method, a special shuttlecock-shaped drogue goo attached to the trail behind the flying boom, may be used to refuel aircraft fitted with the probes. An operator station in the rear of the plane's controls. The boom, a cargo area above the refueling system, can hold a mixed load of passengers and cargo. I go. F-16 Fighting Falcon can locate targets in all weather conditions and detect low-flying aircraft in radar ground clutter. In an air-to-surface road, the F-16 can fly more than 500 miles, deliver its weapons with superior accuracy, defend itself against enemy aircraft, and return to its starting point. For easy and accurate control of the aircraft during high G-force combat maneuvers, a side-stick controller is used instead 
side of the conventional center mounted stick. Hand pressure on the side stick controller sends electrical signals to actuators of flight control surfaces such as ailerons and water. C-130 Hercules is a medium-range airlift aircraft designed primarily for transport of cargo and personnel within the theater of operations. Variants of the C-130 perform many other missions, including close air support, rescue and recovery, special operations and weather reconnaissance. The C-130 Hercules is considered the workhorse of the Air Force. The cargo area can be quickly adapted for either all passenger or company passenger cargo or cargo or aeromedical airlift configuration. F-111 is a tactical strike aircraft that can fly at supersonic speeds and operate from treetop level to altitudes above 60,000 feet. It has variable sweep wings allowing the pilot to fly from slow approach speeds to supersonic velocity at sea level and more than twice the speed of sound at higher altitudes swing angles from 16 degrees full forward to 72.5 degrees full rear sweep are possible. Full forward wings give the most surface surface area and maximum lift for short takeoff and landing. AV-8B Harrier II is a vertical short takeoff and landing attack jet. It represents a revolutionary modernization of the Corps' light attack force. It can provide more close air support for ground troops than any other type of attack aircraft. The AV-8B Harrier II is operable from all naval flight decks and from highways. In helicopter type landing zones in a forward based mode, the aircraft routinely responds with ordnance on target in 10 minutes. M60A1 main battle tank driver is seated at the front of the hull with the other three crew members in the turret, the commander and gunner on the right and the loader on the left. The Stinger is a manned portable shoulder fired guided missile system which enables the Marine to effectively engage low altitude jet propeller driven and helicopter aircraft. This system is a fire and forget weapon employing a passive infrared seeker and proportional navigation system. The missile arrives to the field package with its disposable launch tube. It's delivered as a certified round requiring no fuel testing or direct support maintenance. The grip stock is attached to the round prior to use and can be used again. The M998 HMMWV Hummer is a high mobility multi-purpose rear vehicle. It is a 1 to 1 4 ton 4x4 four four tactical vehicle designed for use over all types of roads as well as cross country terrain in all weather conditions. This 4 wheel drive vehicle has pintle hooks for towing and tie down and lifting eyes for air, rail or sea it's a cargo troop carrier capable of transporting a payload including crew of 25,000 pounds or a two-man crew and eight passengers. Tow carriers are used to mount and operate the TOW missile launcher system with armor protection for crew, TOW system components, and ammunition. M1A1 Abrams tank is a 40-track highly mobile direct fire armored combat vehicle capable of sustained offensive and defensive combat in nuclear biological and chemical environments operated by a crew of four. The tank is designed to close and destroy enemy forces, fortifications and material using armor protections, firepower, mobility and shock actions in both amphibious assaults and subsequent operations ashore. M2 Bradley IFV. The Bradley fighting vehicles provide the mechanized infantry with a full track, lightly armored fighting vehicle, scout, and armored cavalry units. A vehicle with their screening, reconnaissance, and security missions. The M2 infantry fighting vehicle IFV has a two man turret which mounts the 25mm automatic stabilized cannon, its primary armament, supported by the tow anti tank guided missile system and the 7.6. 62mm coaxial machine gun. 
M102 is being replaced by the M119 105mm light howitzer from the United Kingdom and the M102 will then be used to replace the remaining M101A1 howitzers. The M102 provides support for light infantry divisions and rapid deployment forces. This unit provides the field command and maneuverability and quick strike capability. It is air mobile with the U860 helicopter and its prime mover is the Hummer. The M198 155mm howitzer T towed utilizes the same ammunition as the 155mm howitzer self-pelled. The 1st, 2nd, and 3rd battalions of each artillery regiment have been configured to be able to provide direct support. These battalions are normally employed in support of an infantry regiment and usually operates as an integral unit. However, the howitzer batteries are capable of operating independently of the battalion when provided appropriate service and support personnel. From the headquarters battery, the battalion is capable of exercising tactical and technical fire direction of organic and attached firing units. M110 8-inch cannon is classified as a heavy caliber cannon. The Marine Corps artillery weapon are classified as cannons as opposed to missiles and are further categorized according to caliber and means of transport. The cannon is a piece of artillery fixed or mobile which fires a projectile by means of a breech firing mechanism and tube. The howitzer is a cannon with a barrel length between that of a gun and a medium muscle velocity. M109 self-propelled howitzer. Hawk missile system. The Hawk is a medium range air defense guided missile system designed to provide air defense protection against low to medium altitude air attack. The Hawk missile is guided by reflected radar energy and uses a proximity fuse to detonate its highly lethal warhead. The Hawk is deployed worldwide with Army, Marines, NATO, and many nations around the world. Harpoon missile. Harpoon is a medium range rocket boosted turbine sustained anti-ship cruise missile capable of being launched from surface ships, submarines, or from aircraft. Mission of the Harpoon is to destroy hostile service targets such as combatants, submarines, and other shipping. In fiscal year 1989, the cost was 8869947 each. AIM-WIM-74 Sparrow Missile. The improved Sparrow Missile, a highly successful air-to-air -air and surface-to-air missile so, has considerable greater invulnerability to electronic countermeasures ECM, better target tracking capability, and a new low altitude active fuse. It is the fifth operational missile of the Sparrow family and can be employed against attacking aircraft at all tactical speeds and altitudes in all weather. AIM 9M Sidewinder Missile The Sidewinder is one of the oldest, least expensive, and most successful missiles in the entire US weapons inventory. The prototype of of this heat-seeking missile was fired more than 30 years ago. Since then, various versions of it have been produced for more than 27 nations. The latest version, AIM-9M, has significantly improved infrared countermeasure capability. Landing Craft Air Cushion LCAC, is a 40 amphibious air cushion vehicle capable of operating from all existing and planned deck ships. The ability of LCAC to operate independently of tides and moderate beach gradients give the LCAC accessibility to 70% of the world's waterways. Conventional landing crafts offer 17%. Processing both bow and stern ramps allow vehicles to drive on and drive off, reducing both embarkation and deparkation times, which significantly increases the build-up rate of force ashore. The UH-1N Huey is a twin-piloted twin-engine helicopter used in command and control, resupply, casualty, evacuation, liaisons, and area wire lane. The Huey provides combat helicopter support to the landing force. Commander during ship-to-shore movement thought to be the most widely used helicopter in the world with more than 9,000 produced from the 1950s to present is flown by more than 40 countries today.
CH46E C9 is a 40 instrumented all weather twin engine tandem rotor helicopter. A rear landing ramp provides rapid loading and unloading of cargo and vehicles. An external hook allows for an external lift of cargo. The CH46E transports Marines ashore during an amphibious assault or from one area of the beachhead to another during shore operation. The CH46E served as the Marine Corps' main assault helicopter during the 60s and 70s. CH-47 Chinook is the Army's only medium lift helicopter, a twin-engine tandem rotor cargo helicopter. The Chinook's primary mission is the movement of ammunition repair parts and petroleum and tactical movement of artillery troops and special weapons on the battlefield. The upgrade of Chinooks into the D model will extend the useful life of the fleet into the year 2000. CH-53D Stallion. C Stallion was designed specifically for the Marine Corps. It is a dual-piloted twin-engine single-main rotor helicopter operated by Marine Heavy Helicopter Squadron, MHH. It hauls supplies, equipment, and personnel from ship to shore during amphibious assault operations. A rear landing ramp provides a rapid loading and unloading of cargo and vehicles. The cabin contains cargo winches, rotor conveyors, and tie-down fittings, an external cargo hook is provided as a method of carrying large outsized cargo. CH-53E Super Stallion is one of the world's largest and most powerful helicopters. The aircraft is used for heavy lift operations, including retrieval of disabled aircraft and tactical movement of heavy weapons and equipment. It can transport 56 fully equipped combat troops and can self-deploy more than 100 nautical miles. Its air-to-air refueling capability gives it unlimited range because of power blade and tail pylon. Both the CH-53E is compatible with all Navy aircraft carriers and amphibious vessels. The SH-3H Sea King. The Sea King is a twin-engine all-weather ship based anti-submarine warfare ASW helicopter. Its mission is to detect, classify, track, and destroy enemy submarines. The helicopter also provides logistical support and search and rescue capability while deployed aboard an aircraft carrier. A-864 Apache is a quick reacting airborne anti-tank weapon. The Apache can deploy quickly to the heaviest enemy penetration and destroy, disrupt, or delay the attack long enough for friendly ground maneuver units to reach the scene. The Apache is designed to fight worldwide and survive. The principal mission of the Apache is to destroy enemy armor with the Hellfire missile. It is capable of attacking a wide variety of targets. UH-60 Blackhawk is replacing the Huey. In air assault, air cavalry, and aeromedical evacuation missions, the Blackhawk can carry more than twice the payload of the UH-1 and is capable of transporting an entire 11-man for the equipped squad faster than most weather conditions. The Blackhawk is the first utility assault helicopter that adds to Army mobility. It can reposition a 105 howitzer, its crew of 6 and 30 rounds of ammunition in a single lift. USNS Comfort AH-20, the second of two hospital ships, was delivered to the Navy in 1987. These ships contain 12 operating rooms, 1,000 beds, and associated medical support capable of receiving patients by helicopter or boat anchored or underway within five days from issuance of sailing orders. The USNS Comfort can be fully ready for deployment, complement 1,207, including 73 civilian crew, 387 Navy support and communications personnel and 820 Navy medical personnel. Miss America, these ships don't really have much of an introduction, just have specifications really. U.S. Ranger Carrier USS Theodore Roosevelt Carrier USS Saratoga Carrier USS John F. Kennedy Carrier USS David Ray DD-971 Destroyer 
USS Normandy CG-60 cruiser, USS Antietam CG-54 cruiser, USS Richmond K. Turner CG-20 cruiser, USS Bunker Hill CG-52 cruiser, looks like these ships are named after battles, USS England CG-22 cruiser, USS Sturette CG-31 cruiser, USS Biddle CG-34 cruiser, USS Nitro AE-23 ammunition ship, USS Seattle AOE-3 fast combat support, USS Missouri Battleship USS Wisconsin Battleship USS Shreveport LPD-12 Amphibious Transport Dock USS Austin LPD-4 Amphibious Transport USS Vancouver LPD-2 Amphibious Transport Dock USS Nashville LPD-13 Amphibious Transport Dock USS Pensacola LSD-38 Dock Landing Ship USS St. Louis LKA-116 Amphibious Cargo USS Mobile LKA-115 Amphibious Cargo USS Okinawa LPH-3 Amphibious Assault Ship USS Incheon LPH-12 Amphibious Assault Ship USS New Orleans LPH-11 Amphibious Assault Ship USS Grom Amphibious Assault Ship USS Blue Ridge LCC-19 Amphibious Command Ship USS San Bernardino LST-1189 Tank Landing Ship USS Freeland FF-1068 USS Elmer Montgomery FF-1082 Frigate USS Bruton FF-1086 Frigate USS Curtis FFG-38 Frigate US Wright Plane AFS-4 Combat Storeship Pentacon, which is a checklist card Helicopter, another checklist card Refueling at night. Lightning over Eisenhower. Heroes of the Persian Gulf cards are a celebration of American military technology. However, we cannot and will not forget the hundreds of thousands of brave men and women who honored their obligation to the United States of America and served our country without question. These are the real heroes, the dignity and professionalism with which they carry out their missions is the true source of America's pride in its military.